Well, two years ago, our community rose above the ashes. Today is the second anniversary of our state's most destructive wildfire. Two people were killed and nearly 500 homes destroyed in the 2013 Black Forest Fire. Cardio News Channel 13's Rana Navini looks back at how the community came together, proving we're Colorado strong. It was awful to watch it just burn down. Very difficult to um, lose everything you have for the most part and see everything go up in this humongous plume of smoke. June 11, 2013, the Black Forest took on a whole new meaning. Uh, we've lived here for 20 years and we love the Black Forest and, and in some ways the Black Forest has effectively been destroyed. Nearly 500 homes gone. 500 families. We've been there for almost 21 years. 21 years in September. Left with nothing. It's pretty um, upsetting. The days that followed tested our patience. We still don't know what started Waldo. How long is it going to take them to tell us in this one? It tested our community. Hate it. I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't like doing this any more than you. But the test was no match. Come on, Come on girl. For the strength we found in the ashes. We had, a, we had a short opportunity to get it out of there. From the flames, firefighter Colby Helgerson carried a baby deer to safety. When the time comes, you just snap to that training and it kind of takes over. It's like losing a part of your family. Thomas Boyle was devastated to learn he lost his horse. I didn't think about the smoke that was choking me. I didn't think about my hands burning. I didn't think about my eyes stinging. I didn't think about dying. I thought about my horses. But total strangers went out of their way to make sure Boyle could reunite hey, with Banjo. <laughs> Come here, Grumpy. Happy Father's Day! When it came time to show our gratitude, we did. I just wanted to thank the firefighters for saving our house. Though the words, thank you, would never be enough. You're our heroes and you're the best. From the ashes emerged a community a little closer, one that's Colorado strong. Rana Novini, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Rana. Investigators still don't know how or who started that fire. They do, though, say it was human caused.